to Se La Vie Tarot. Let's take a look and see what's going on in love at this time, of course. Um, of course, before we start, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you if you subscribed already. Hit the notification bell if you uh, want to stay tuned with these readings. Also, um, there will be an extended link at the end where we will look deeper and see what the messages are from spirit, see what the intentions are, see what's going on. Just look a little deeper. So that will be at the bottom of the video. How is this person feeling about my viewers at this time? How are you feeling about my viewers at this time? How are you feeling? I'm seeing kisses. This person's reminiscing. Divine timing, undecided. Someone here is undecided. Why? Very undecided, unsure. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to respond. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Some of you left a very, very big impression on this person's heart, on their soul, on their mind, on their vibe. Okay? I feel like this is someone here that sits around a lot and even if they just sit around and look out their window, it's like they're always thinking about some of the things that you've said, some of the things that you've um, expressed to them, some of the emotions that you've expressed to them. And I feel like this is someone here that's wondering like, what should I do? What should I do and how should I proceed after this situation? or this energy, or this conversation, or whatever it is. Someone here has to make a decision. They're undecided. It says, honestly, I don't know what I want at this time. I don't know what I want, all right? So I feel like this is someone here that you feel like has been taking some time to actually show you um, stockings wanting to come out, taking some time to show you exactly where they want to move or how they want to proceed. Spirit is saying, please be strong during this time. All right. It's your choice. All right. It is your choice, honestly. All right. It's your choice. If you want to wait for this person, I feel like a lot of you are not doing that. I feel like spirit is saying it is your choice. It is your strength. It is your choice. It is your story. It is your novel. You do what you want to do. And I feel like spirit is saying you also have a decision. For some of you, this decision is something that's basically, um, you know, pointing towards you right now as well, where you're making a decision to completely delete, completely release a relationship. There could be a marriage that's going on as well that you're no longer wanting to invest in. Um, I feel like for some of you, I even get career where it's like, should I start this new business? Should I? But I feel like there's a decision that's coming up here where you have to somewhat make a choice, okay? Spirit is saying, um, your, your person's not the only person that has to make a decision. Your boss is not the only person that has to make a decision. You have to make a decision as well. Because remember, again, as I stated in other videos, this is also your story. So you have a choice as well, okay? Spirit is saying, all right? I feel like someone around you has not changed. Oh, to be honest, someone here is not changing. I feel like you have someone around you that could be extremely codependent, um, extremely um, immature at times, okay? And I feel like this person is still going back and forth whether they should be honest, be straightforward, be in love, embrace love. And I feel like you're realizing that this is someone here that could be a time waster or this could be someone that's just not ready at this time, Okay. Spirit is saying this is a timing issue. I feel like someone here, it's like there is more time needed for them to grow, for them to understand. That's why Spirit is also saying you have a choice, right? You have a choice whether you want to sit in this person's mind as well with them and sort of, you know, um, take their journey um, with them. Spirit is saying it's important for you to understand that you have a choice, okay? Let's get a little bit more about this connection. A lot of you, Spirit is also saying, do not ignore red flags here. Some of you have felt like this is someone here that stays in their head. Um, I feel like this could be someone that at times they, again, I'm getting this codependency energy where it's like this person has a victim mindset where it's like, you know, things are always happening to me. I'm, you know, people are always attacking me or... I feel like I can't trust anybody. This person could have trust issues as well. Um, this person's trapped as well, Spirit is saying. 
either trapped in their mind or trapped in a situation or just trapped in a mindset. Okay, I don't feel like there's much movement currently. We'll look in the extended to see what we could again look into. For some of you, this person could be still holding on to someone or still holding on to things that don't really make sense. All right. A lot of you are feeling like there's nothing else I could do with this situation. If this person chose someone else over you, I feel like this person's feeling now that they're trapped, that they're stuck. I do see some of you also, it's like I'm looking at my phone and I'm trying to figure out if I should send a text to this person. Should I say something to this person? And if I do, will it change the outcome? Okay. I will also answer that in the extended. But will it change the outcome? Let's get a little bit more about this vibe, this connection. Unfazed. A lot of you are going to start to become very unfazed at some point. You feel like this person doesn't care, but that's far from the truth. I definitely feel like this person cares. If they didn't care, they wouldn't be this stressed, right? It says, I'm unfazed by our separation since I wasn't emotionally invested. And I feel like that's how this person wants to be perceived. It's a control tactic. Hence why we have, you are the one that got away here which means that you know there was a lot of pretending and acting and a lot of superficial energy being thrown around, but now I'm feeling the aftermath. I feel it. Yeah, I feel it. Again, divine timing. Whoever you're connecting with right now, although there's a lot of emotions, there's a lot of apologies that's needed. There's a lot of acknowledgement that's needed spirit is saying it's your choice we're going to clarify this energy of choice what choices you have the decision um, the direction that you should move into right we can't tell you what to do but we can um, provide guidance okay now i feel like this person gambled um with your time i feel like this person gambled with your energy it says you're the one that got away i'll look for you in the next lifetime I feel like, and, and again, I feel like for some of you, the decision that you're making is going to put someone in a position where they're going to have to say something. They're going to have to express themselves. It may be too late here. What is this? All right. Some of you may actually wait for this person. <laughs> Some of you, this person may try to come back in and try to maneuver their way back into your life because they feel like this is something that's worth connecting or worth waiting for. After you make a choice, someone here is looking at this like, wait, wait, wait. I keep seeing wait. Wait for me, please. What is that song by Elliot Yamin? Wait for you or something like that. I feel like someone here is saying, hey, wait for me. I'm going to make a decision. I will make a decision. I'm in a situation where I'm mentally in, in chaos and I'm trying to figure it out. This person is coming in strongly, all right? This person's coming in strongly and they're saying, hey, I've made a decision now, all right? We'll look at this person's decision and see if it's, if it's genuine, all right? And I feel like with this worth waiting for, it's a big question mark for me. Is it worth waiting for? And we have, they will call. All right, coming out very swiftly here. They will call. They will call. What will they say? What do they, what do they inspire here? What do they need? And it says, you first. So I'm going to call you. I'm going to contact you. And I'm... Wanting you to say more than I will say here. I feel like this person comes in with this nervous energy. Very confident person, but when it comes to you being emotionally expressive, I feel like this person tends to be a bit nervous, a bit scared, a bit guilty. I feel like this person feels guilty. I feel like this person tries to find different things to not think about you. There's something that you said to this person that just keeps on playing. Did you call this person selfish? There's something that you said to this person that keeps replaying in their mind. If you're silent towards this person, it's definitely 
making them feel some type of way. There is a call coming in. We'll again look at that in the extended here. Let's get a little bit more. I need more. <laughs> I need more. I'm seeing empathy. Some of you may have empathy for this person or you may empathize with this person here. It's just who you are. But Spirit again is saying. Mm. Spirit is saying also that there is a timing situation with this here. It may not be the right time. Let's get a little bit more. Thank you. May not be the right time. Drama here. This person could be someone that likes to argue or likes to like defend their case. It's like they always have something to say here. Loss. I feel like this person's not okay with losing you. They're just not okay with it. And you will see that. We have negotiation here also popping up. I feel like this person's going to try to negotiate something. Really? Yeah, this person's in their extreme. I feel like this person could be a little dramatic or it could be drama filled or you feel like this person is someone that tries to act like they don't care. But we have negotiation here. I lost you. I feel like I'm losing you, but could we negotiate something? Could we meet up? Could we talk? All right. But even when I do do this, I want you to say something first. All right, so let's go into the extended. Let's see what this person's true intentions are. Let's see if this person is genuine. Let's see what the messages are from spirit. And let's see if this is worth waiting for. All right, I love you. Have a beautiful week. And like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.